Oh, cheers to Stu for those first six races of the week then. And I'm going to start off with a cracker, the Punchestown Gold Cup. It's a three-mile one foot on grade one. And at the top, we've got Armageddon for Martin Leedham. Better Bob Irish for David Robertson. Crackled for Alex Cherry. Cue card, David Hooley. Dawn of the Warrior, Joshua Southern. Deepdale, Darren Thompson. Flintoff Wedding, James Shea. Harden, Montsiau. David Robertson, Insatiable Forest for Craig Allen. Lawn Tennis, Graham Clutterbuck. Ozark, Rival, Vinnie Gerard. Rampant Lion, Alex Cherry. Time to Shine, Craig Allen. Belmore Stone. Graham Clutterbuck, Bridged Cape, Darren Thompson, Clan Fraser for Stu Gray, Japanese Blonde, Leon Van Linsburg, Lost on the Way, Joshua Southern, Magic Spell, Craig Beckwith and Stone of Legends, Leon Van Rinsburg. So why they go in the rain then? No Gold Cup winner, Silver Dollar City in this one. And Belmore Stone. Looks like he's going to be the one to take them into the first of the 16 fences. Belmore Stone, who was placed in this race a couple of seasons ago. Um, sadly departed at the first of the Cheltenham Gold Cup, so we'll be hoping for a showing more akin to the one from two seasons ago in this race today. So they get down towards the first then with the rain coming down pretty heavily and Belmore Stone did his best to get rid of the jockey but the jockey stayed in place. Lost on the way is second, crackled his third, then Ozark rival and flint off wedding and dawn of the warrior after that one. With time to shine, just the back market at this Early stage of the rest. Not so much jumping to do here is at Cheltenham. They get to the second. And over that one they go. They all got over that one nicely. With better Bob Irish. Just the back marker at this point. But Belmore Stone has got a full length lead. To Dawn of the Warrior in second. As they get over the third. And over that one they're all safely over it as well. With the field nicely grouped. Everybody's got plenty of racing room. Nothing too badly positioned. Armageddon probably the widest on the track. Nothing too serious, really. Belmore Stone is clear by three lengths. To Dawn of the Warrior is in second, and Crackled has moved through into third. Deep down on the outside is fourth, lost on the way. On the near side is fifth. In the first of the Greys is Lawn Tennis as they get to the fourth, which they're all safely over. And Magic Spell and Rampant Lion are the two back markers now. As Belmore Stone takes us into fence number five with the lead of four lengths. This is a big ditch. Belmore Stone got over that one nicely in front. They all jumped it well and make their way towards the next. This is the, the cream of the three mile chases, of course, in these, with the exception of Silver Dollar City. The Gold Cup winner is missing. I'm not sure where that one is going this week, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Belmore Stone's the leader. Crackle is six lengths down in second, and then Deep Dale is third. Dawn of the Warrior fourth, and Lost on the Way fifth. We need Lawn Tennis and Cue Card after that one, then Flint off Wedding and Honor Montsio and Stone of Legends as they take number six, which they're all over safely, though Magic Spell was a little bit untidy at the back, and Armageddon is already being given the hurry up on the outside to keep pace with the pack. But it's Belmore Stone, who's led all the way so far up past the stand then. And we've got another circuit of the track to go, and Belmore Stone leads by a good six lengths to Crackled and Deep now share in second and Flint off winning on the outside is fourth the two Joshua Southern horses Dawn of the Warrior and Lost on the Way race together next then the Grey Lawn Tennis and Stone of Legends getting closer on the inside Clan and Fraser is after that one as they take number seven as they're all safely over Ozark Rival just losing its place a little bit dropping towards the back but Belmore Stone's lead is certainly down to a little more than a length and a half as Crackled Moves closer in second. Deep Dale is third, then Flint off winning fourth as they take number eight. And they're all over that one safely, but a mistake by Better Bob Irish. And seeing that one shuffle down the pack a little bit. One or two of these not made their move yet, just biding their time in mid division. The Belmore Stone is too clear again as they get to the ninth. Good jump there though by Deep Dale. Sees that go right up alongside the leader. Crackled is still third. Flint off really winning a big race in fourth. Then lost on the way. Dawn of the Warrior. Lawn Tennis. Stone of Legends. Armageddon suddenly get into it. And Highland Montsio on the outside. Jump that one slowly. Ozark Rival is now the back marker. But it's Belmore Stone by a neck. To Deep Dale in second. Crackled is third. Lawn Tennis is fourth. 
Then Flintoff went in, lost on the way. Japanese Blonde is now getting a little bit closer, so too. Stable mate, Stone of Legends. Q card is still there. Armageddon's in the middle of the pack, looking towards the back. Insatiable Forest has got work to do as they get to the 11th. And over the 11th, they go and another mistake by Magic Spell. Also, a bad jump by Time to Shine has seen that one drop to the back. They're into the final mile now, then in the Punchestown Gold Cup. And Belmore Stone has led all the way so far. Leads by two lengths. But Dawn of the Warrior is now moving into a challenging position on the outside as they come to number 12. And over that one they go. They're all safely over that one as well. A whole field in the Punchestown Gold Cup still on their feet as they race down to the next fence. And this is third in of 16. And over it they go. Belmore Stone mistake there by the horse in second. Dawn of the Warrior. That's better Bob Irish. is now creeping into it on the outside. But it's Belmore Stone then in the lead. Just three more fences to take. And a little less than six furlongs to race. Belmore Stone is in the lead. Better Bob Irish despite some mistakes has moved through in a second. Then comes Crackled and Flintoff winning. Dawn of the Warrior is next. Then Deep Down and Bridge Cape Lawn Tennis is after that one. And then Rampant Line and Island Monsieur making a bit of a forward progress. Lost on the way. And Japanese Blonde, we worked them as they take the third from moments. A faller there. Insatiable Forest has gone. As Dawn of the Warrior hits the front from Better Bob Irish. Now Better Bob Irish is taking it up and wide on the track. Stable companion Highland Monsieur has come through over the second last they go. That's the final ditch. And it's a 1 2 at the moment for. For um, David Robertson, it's Highland Monsiam on the outside, better than Morris on the inside. Japanese bombers are four at the last, and the two David Robertson horses are pulling away from Dawn of the Warrior. They race down towards the final couple of furlongs. They've only got one more fence to take in the Punchestown Gold Cup, and it's better by Morris. Better by Morris in the lead from Highland Monsiam in second. Dawn of the Warrior is third. Rampant line running on in fourth. Flintoff winning, sticking on in fifth. Then after that one comes time to shine and clan Fraser over the final fence. They go better by Morris. She's clear. Better by Morris by a length. From Stablemate Island Montsian. They're racing now towards the line in the final half furlong. And it's Better Bob Morris. Better Bob Morris is in the lead. They're not going to get something, you know. And Better Bob Morris is in the lead. One last look for Dawn of the Warrior. But Better Bob Morris is holding on. And Better Bob Morris takes it from Dawn of the Warrior. Stone of the Legends are fast finishing third. Island Montsian was after that one in fourth and all the way back to Magic Spell. Who was the last to finish and. A thrilling Punchestown Gold Cup and maybe a bit of a surprise. Better Bob Irish wasn't the best jumper around in the race and made a few mistakes early on, but took it nicely for David Robertson. Dawn of the Warrior for Joshua Sutherland was second. Stone of Legends for Leon Van Rensburg third. Rampant Lion for Alex Cherry fourth. And Highland Monsier for the winning trainer David Robertson was fifth.